Tonight's just about the most perfect night I have had in a long time. Took my Bel Air out, went and got ice cream, and now I'm at the range on my way home. This is just the perfect night, shooting some revolvers. These are some of my hand loads, 158 grain lead round nose with some silhouette powder. So nice, easy loads to shoot. And boy, is it enjoyable. Even though the bugs keep attacking me and I'm sweating like crazy, I'm still happy to be out at the range. Every once in a while, the uh, trigger pull on one of these, I don't know if it's one of the locations on the cylinder on this or not, but every once in a while, the trigger pull seems really hard when the cylinder unlocks. Always fires. It's just one... One location, maybe it's one of the pawls that rotates the cylinder is a little bit tighter than the other ones or something. I'm not sure, but I don't like dropping my ammo on the ground. I'm not used to loading out of my left pocket with my left hand with these, but... Not horrible accuracy. A little bit better than I was doing with my Charter Arms Bulldog, which is the left target over there. This thing tends to shoot a little bit high. I kind of have to lollipop my target. And these are my reloads, so these are not very hot. These are probably only around 800 feet per second lead round nose, 158 grain. So they shoot a little bit high. But this gun functions great. Have to know how to shoot with your left hand too, or your weak hand rather. That wasn't the greatest group. They were a little bit low, but still hit the target. Sometimes you just got to do point and shoot practice where you don't even really aim. You just kind of have the gun pointed in the general direction you need to go. And to be perfectly honest, my accuracy is a little bit better than when I'm trying to aim. I guess this is a pretty naturally pointing. It shoots so well. Got just a few more of these. Really just wanted to get out and put some rounds down range anytime I can smell gunpowder, even if it's really humid and smoggy out here, just puts a smile on my face. So here again, another short video from Cranky Gun Reviews. This again, the Taurus Model 85 Classic. I think this is from the early 90s. It's a phenomenal gun. The fit and finish on this particular one is really good. These are the best target grips on a small frame revolver that I've found super comfortable even though my pinky goes on the bottom but it's just such a naturally pointing and shooting gun so thanks again for watching another edition of cranky gun reviews on this beautiful day have a great night god bless america support your 2a rights get out there and shoot make sure that if someone asks you to give up some of your freedom for the greater good you remind them that freedom is the greater good